That is the most worried looking chef I have ever seen in my life. What is wrong with you, sir? Oh well. Greetings, people. I'm Lucifer, sir. Welcome back to West of Loathing. I just love this game. I'm genuinely enjoying this game. It's, it's, it's just, just a nice little relaxing kind of game which I can just sit back. And it's not too taxing on the computer. I can just sort of sit here and it's lovely 30 FPS. And have some strange woman in a straw hat just take her swamp reed for a walk. Welcome to Dirt Water. Anyway, let's leave. Let's go to Stern's Ranch because that's the first thing I saw when I entered the map. Onwards. Okay. <laughs> Barely out of town and I found something. Out in the middle of the desert you find an abandoned minecart. It's sitting on a section of mine... Minecart track about 12 feet long, which starts nowhere in particular, and ends even less of somewhere in particular. Let's check it out. It's mostly full of plain old rocks, not even very interesting looking ones. However, if you left without searching it thoroughly, you'd just end up driving yourself crazy later with the thought that you might have missed something valuable. And so you spend a good half an hour inspecting rocks, and eventually find one that might be worth something. An unrefined meat nugget. I'm pretty sure I already had one. I think I gave it to Crazy Pete. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Even my ghost footprints are spectral. Hello there, Binky. Needle. Needles. Needles. I do need needles. Uh, hi. Another ranch burned down by freaking cows. Damn. Yes, steams me some for fears. Yeah, I guess we should check for survivors. Let's get a check for survivors. Needle. All of the needles. Uh, nothing as far as I can see. There's still some beans in this pot. Grab them. Blackened beans. Thanks. Spell damage for five the rest of the day. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any room in my stomach, so I can't actually eat them. Oh well. Nothing left. Damn those devils. Kind of redundant. Um, I don't see any bodies. Just those graves out front. Hope we're a dog and got away. I didn't see any graves. Are there graves out there? Oh, yep. We got graves. Well, we got three graves and a pile of bones. Mary Stearns died February 18th, 1984. Flower is smoking. Ow, ow, ow! Smoking chrysanthemum. What the f What? Goes in your pill. Plus two to spell damage. On the as, as amazing as that sounds, this flower is apparently still a lot of. still has a lot of smoldering to do. Oh, it goes on your lapel! Yay! Can I actually see what I'm equipped with? No. Effects. Oh! Oh, that's where it is! Angry! You're madder in a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from rage. Oh. So if I angered myself again in the mirror, I would have fainted? What? Plus three muscle mysticality and moxie. Okay. Uh, you wet your whistle with dirt water bourbon and it really needed it after being dried out by all that dirt floating around the same dirt water bourbon. Alright. More health and a bit more magic. That's, that's great. Fantastic. You're almost able to convince yourself that having a belly full of that slop is preferable to being hungry. Uh, I, can't, I can't see what I'm actually equipped with. That's lapel embellishments. Your pistols, your weapons, offhand things. Oh yeah, the one I'm equipped with is at the top, I guess. Very enchanted. No. Smoking chrysanthemum. Anyway, anyway, moving, moving on. Uh, 
Gwendolyn Stearns, devoted mother, died in 1895. Jethro Stearns, devoted father, died 1895. Okay. Looks like Jethro's bones were dug up by some varmint or other. Charred locket. Okay, what's this about? We should check, check the You should call it a locket on account of how it was lucky to escape that fire. Alright. I shall examine the lock on this locket reminds you why they call it a locket. It's called because it's locked it locked, isn't it? Um Pick it, I guess. Okay, have a picture of Mary Stearns. Alright. A faded Dagur... What the hell does that say? Daguerre... type of a... Sure, of a little girl. A name Mary is written on the back. Uh, photograph... Serious looking little girl. Mary Stearns, Thanksgiving... 1894. Sad. Okay! Hi! As you approach the cave, Mark, and the air on the back of your neck stands up as a voice whispers in your ear. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give what to you? The air grows cold. The picture. The picture of me. I can see it. You have it. You shouldn't look at it. Nobody should look at it. I okay, I guess you must be Mary. Why don't you want anyone to look at it? Wishman gets quieter. Ang anger seeps around the edges of the voice. Because they'll know. Give it to me. Okay, okay. They'll know what? What happens? What I did? Give it a picture. Give it to me. Give it, give it now. I'm not going to fight the ghost of a little girl. Uh, here, I guess. Have it. You hold the photograph out towards the grave marker. It disintegrates in your hand. Thank you. Irritus, novel, and... You hope Mary finds some peace now. Oh, oh, sure, that was... Sure? Fine. Hang on a sec. That photo said Mary Stern's Thanksgiving 1894. How could she have had a, a picture of her taken on Thanksgiving in 1894 when she died in February? Isn't Thanksgiving like November or something? What the fuck? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'm just not. Okay. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. I can't hear anything. There's a fight going on in there. Let's have a look. Oh, got the jump on him. It's a cow, I guess. Hi. Um. Okay. Lava, lava. Well, that was easy. The outhouse is now as safe as houses. Outhouses! By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the... Uh, why? 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 You already, you already dive into spittoons. Why do you want to dive into the latrine as well? The, the toilet pistol. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie became stronger. Oh, okay. So Susie becomes stronger when I kill cows. Oh, the demon cows. Deals stench damage instead of physical. Apply five poison to enemy. Okay, well... It's actually weaker... Four, four to five. It's actually weaker than the deputy pistol, but it does apply stench. I guess I'll use. I guess I'll use that for now. I I don't shoot things, but, so I don't see what difference it will make. But okay, fair enough. Oh, hang on, hang on. Crate. You got a lock. Ranch dressing. What the fuck is ranch dressing? It's an amazing poultice. You can apply it to the. 
your wounds before you even get them. Sure. HP 25 rest of the day. I'm gonna leave it there for the time being. Although max 20, max HP by 25. That is actually a lot considering I've only got 30 at the moment. Yeah, sure. You put the portals on part of you think is the most likely to get stabbed later today. <laughs> Just a guess, really. Fair enough. Yeah. Good. Box. Lock picking and needle. I have I have lock picking and needle. Uh, stock certificate. Oh, a document. A certificate entitling the bearer to 13 shares of Thompson Chemical Syndicate, and a company based in Yuma. Just sell it. Okay. <laughs> How can I argue with that? Okay. All the books on the shelf are burned, but you notice something strange about the back of the shelf. Do I have four Moxie? I have five. Okay. I shall investigate the back of the shelf. Uh, your, death, your death fingers find a hidden catch in the back of the panel. Uh, the shelf slides away to reveal a secret, secret compartment. Uh, Mary Stern's diary. Oh, okay. uh, hang on, if I read this, she's not going to come back from the dead to ask for that back as well, is she? Uh, little girl's diary. Brown a little round the edges, but otherwise untouched by fire. Okay. Oh, good. Well, I just need to take a drink for this. The first page says this is in this in a, uh, the first page says in a little girl's handwriting, this is the diary of Mary Stearns. The AI in diary are crossed out and IA written above them because this is the dairy of Mary Stearns okay there are styles of our typical kid stuff you flip around until you notice the handwriting getting shakier found a dolly under the cactus out back and she told she told me her name was Grace Mama and Papa don't believe me There's, that she that she talks it they say I got a big imagination Grace says the cows are going to get us, but Papa says we'll be okay, because this weren't never a cow ranch. Grace says he's r he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with, with her. Alright, who is this Grace doll creature? I don't like this kind, kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama, say, Mama says Mama was sad that they couldn't fo find Effie. Papa said she'd been gone long and so long and they should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How, how far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. What? Don't want to play tea party if Mother Grace says I have to. Who's Effie? Who's Effie and where did she... What? Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cried so much. I tried, I tried to tell her him and Effie are keeping help keeping the cows away, but she don't understand. What, Grace? What, what are you doing, Grace? Seriously. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I got him. If I don't, cows will eat all three of us. She said either I'll get Mama or Papa to play, or else I've got to play myself. That's the last entry. What happened? Thomas contained a single object, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. Oh, 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 oh no. Porcelain dolls are like evil incarnate. Talk to it. Sure, I'll talk to the... Sure, I'll talk to the... Uh, it's the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. Pull the string. Uh. You pull the string, the doll's eyes roll back into its head and its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? I your business, doll. No, your business, doll. Um, I'm Lila. Hi, Lila. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? No. No, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have time for games. It's okay. Somebody else will come along soon. They're all, you're already dead anyway. <laughs> the dolls go silent. 
You should, as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. Oh, it's spooky. Okay. Should I talk to the doll? Let's do it again. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Lila. Lila, you're nice. You want to play with me? Yes, let's play. Ray, Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Um. Okay, surely. Hey, the game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into his secret room? Uh, no, what is it? The magic word is peanut butter. Got it, peanut butter. You should have just realized talking dolls have been invented. Yes, yes, yes. And spooky indeed. Nothing to say about that, Susie? I take that as a no. Fair enough. Ah, I don't have safe cracking. By the Sam Hill. What's this cow's go painted on the wall for? It's a little weird, yeah. It would do something like that. Why? Uh, food! Oh, food. Cat's eye candy! Uh, thanks, I guess. Yeah. C considering how evil cows are in this, this universe, wives. Why? Peanut butter. This isn't a- Stop it, Lila. This isn't any kind of tea party that's normal. This is the kind of tea party that has cults and chanting. Atop this sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. Uh, okay. A chill runs down your spine as you touch the goblet. Got a goblet of blood! Okay, it's also in a spooky secret basement room. It's probably safe and fine and good. Yes, I'm sure it is. Uh, what am I doing? What, what, what evil is this going to unleash? My tea, we can finish our tea party now. The eyes begin to glow. Sure, why not? You carefully pour the blood from the gauntlet into Grace's mouth. <laughs> Grace leaps out the toilet, laughing maniacally, and and climbs the ranch's ha house's ruined chimney. She turns towards you. See you soon. She leaps to the ground behind the house and scampers off to the northwest. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's fine. It's fine. Susie, it's fine. Stop panicking. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Just fine. Calm down. It's not worth worrying about. You don't give a shit, do you? I'll take that hat adjustment as a no. Fair enough. Okay, I've unleashed ultimate evil on the world. Yay! Let's, <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. What else can I decimate? Uh, Cavern Canyon, Fort Cowardice. I want to go to Fort Cowardice because what the hell? <coughs> Sounds like such a fantastic place. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Let's not have another coughing fit, shall we? You come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's the corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see by his outfit, he is a cowboy. You see by his lack of flesh that he's a corpse. I can't argue with that. Check for useful gear, or give him a proper. But I, sh I shall do the honourable thing with a shovel and give the guy a proper burial. That's the least I can do. Welcome to Fort Cowardice. Hello. Cried as church on Tuesday. Guess we missed the party. Must be abandoned for some reason. 
Binky, please stop floating. You are making the cannons nervous. Thank you. Just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Oh, fuck off. Welcome to Fort Cowardice. There is no one here. Alright. You climb to the top of the watchtower and take a look around. That's you from up here. Oh, I can use my binoculars. You see a horse apple big enough to, well, big enough to see from here. You discovered a new map location, the Big Apple. You climb down from the watchtower and pitch the binoculars in the nearby trash can. Because they're disposable binoculars. So what, I can see New York from here? What's a horse apple? Hmm. Keep Fort Cowardice beautiful. Indeed. Admin. Looting. The cabinet mostly empty. There are a handful of boring personal records. Back in the drawer. Examine them. They are incredibly boring. No, I really want... No, really, I want details. Fine, you read them. Walter Reed, clerk, pay grade C2, B92236, deceased, missing 25 days, uh, accrued sick days 15. Satisfied? No, another. Uh, First Lieutenant Rebecca LeBlanc, 70, 76, uh, Pyrotechnics Division, pay grade 04, B... <laughs> satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm not... I, I get a feeling that's just going to be, like, random fluff I don't care about. It was a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for you to receive would be a, fi a free trip to the dump. Hmm. This place does look a bit run down. Uh, food. Military grade whiskey. Couple of hard tacks. Okay. Uh, in general, this is a door. More specifically, it's a door to the general's office. <laughs> Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. I have needles and lock picking. Oh. You just shot. Oh, okay. Dude, calm down. You probably shouldn't try to open this pie safe while that goblin is shooting at it. What are you... Sorry about that. Cat needs attention. Don't they always? Little swine. Uh, the goblin seated at the desk is repeatedly firing his pistol at the pie safe. Um... Get her attention. Hi? Uh... Say, um... What are you doing? Shooting pies. Always. Always shooting pies. Why? C could you elaborate on that? Why? Shooting a pie? Yes. Destroying, obviously. Must be destroying a terrible pie. Uh, what's wrong with the pie? Ah, a human will never understand it. You're probably right. I'll leave you alone. You know, fine. You do. You do your thing. Dude, uh, fucking whatever. <laughs> Just sh happily shooting a pie, a spice rack. Uh, shaker of salt, Peter. Oh, little green unlabeled jars. Hopefully, this stuff. Oh, yeah, the chef. I forgot about him. Uh, Still beyond cleaning. Blech. That's all. You, know. uh, you hear the sound of several goblins storing inside. Going guns blazing, leave them alone. I think I'll leave them alone for now. Ah, the math tent. Of course. Fuck off. Um, a looted medical supplies. Render them looted! Uh, military grade whiskey. That's medical? Oh well, I've got a, tr a field trauma kit. That's nice. Um, based on the papers and astronomical diagrams scattered across its surface, you're guessing the desk belongs to the Fort Cowardice's nurse. And look at the papers. Marching orders. Uh, the papers are mostly just boring medical records, uh, dental, d dog error, d d yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever the fuck that is. 
Uh, limitations that antibody antibiotics haven't been discovered yet. Yeah, that kind of thing. As I see, it might be important. Marching orders. Okay, what about the diagrams? What you've done? Dis disgusting drawings of s sliced open bodies. I will leave them there. Uh, marching orders. Uh, sort of, I mean, marching orders. For the army. From before all of the army's marching orders were. March. March back east just as fast as your lily livered yellow bellied feet can go, you damnable cowards. That does seem appropriate for the location. Alright. Oh god. Uh, a set of marching orders di directing a rifle division to fort all dead. Far to the north of Dirtwater. You discover the new map location Fort All Dead. Treacherous territory up there, a gal ought to be careful. We'll do, from Fort Cowardice to Fort All Dead. Sure. Just, I, ah, mini safe. I don't have safe cracking. Controlled substances. Hmm. That's where they keep the effective stuff. Well, that's a... <laughs> that's a tattered tent. The sign has the goblin word for toilet on it. Sign says toilet in goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way you're gonna go in there. Okay. This mishap definitely got got somebody fired. <laughs> ah, driest of bollocks, piss off. It's an unusually sized cannonball. Woof, it's heavy. It's, it, um. I've got a demi culverin cannonball. What possible freaking use? Uh, made it fit a demi culverin, a cannon with a ball diameter of 10 centimeters. No demi less, no demi more. <laughs> oh, the puns, dude, the puns. And on, the, on that terrible, terrible fucking pun. I'm gonna leave it there. I haven't gone, I haven't done much this episode, but you know what, sod it. That's how these games go sometimes. You just do what you have to do. I've discovered locations, and I've unleashed a demonic doll on the landscape. Probably have done quite a lot of very, very terrible things this episode. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave it there. Take care of yourselves, guys. Hope to see you soon. But until then, this is Luce the Seraph signing off. So it's just a giant mound of horse crap. Why am I here again? What, 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 what is here that was worth any of this?